Hi grade 3, it's Miss Lemieux here and we're going to keep talking about fractions. I'm going to walk you through some important math vocabulary that has to do with fractions and then I'm going to show you how you can use Play-Doh to create your own fraction learning task at home. So first of all, what is a fraction? A fraction means part of and when we talk about fractions there are two important words that we should get in the habit of saying so that we're using the proper vocabulary. So, when you see a fraction, which looks like this, there's a top number called the numerator and a bottom number called the denominator. I always think denominator sounds like a wrestler. The denominator. That's just me. Okay, so the numerator is the number on top and it's the number of pieces being used, colored, or shaded. And I'll show you what that means in a minute. The denominator is the total number of pieces, and it's always found on the bottom. When we talk about a whole, we mean the complete shape. And I always think of a whole pizza or a whole pie, like Mrs. Green had. Now, one important thing to know is that in order for something to be a fraction, all of the pieces must be exactly equal. So here we see that this is a fraction, but this cannot be considered fractions because this piece is much larger than this piece. Okay, let's have some fun. So grab your Play-Doh, roll it into a ball, and then squish it down so that it makes a circle. You can always flip it over so that your circle looks a little neater. Okay, so let's cut this whole pie into two equal parts. We're going to do that by cutting right down the middle. If I take part away, I will have half left. One half. Two halves together equals one whole. For this one, we're going to cut the pie into three equal parts, which can be a little trickier since we can't use a line that goes straight down the middle. For this one, I'm going to have to use my math brain and be really, really accurate. It's going to look something like a peace sign when I'm done. There we go. So this hole is cut into thirds. If I take one away, I've taken away one third or two thirds or the whole thing. Let's keep going. So here, I've cut my pie into four quarters. One, two, three, four. Four quarters, which equals one whole. Here, I've cut my pie into eight equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to show you something cool. So, if I take this, this is one quarter of my whole. This is two eighths of my whole. But what these are called are equivalent fractions. So even though they may look a little different, they have the same value. One quarter is the same as two eighths. And you can see that when you look at it as a part taken away from the whole. That's all for now. I hope you'll try this at home and send in some pictures. If you don't have Play-Doh, you could also use kinetic sand, modeling clay, or some shaving cream on a cookie sheet. Can't wait to see your fractions.